Here we go. Who's in the room? Need to put their hands together. Shout, shout, please. We're here. Woo! Come on. Give me the energy. Yes, game the queen. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. Come on. I need to hear you. Woo! I like it. Come on. Dance ability, you should be up here with me. Come on. Get up, dance ability, Connie. I want to hear it. Come on. Woo! We did it. We did it. We did it. Woo! Yes, queens and kings. Woo! is going to stay in your mind forever. Okay. How are we all? Oh, seriously. I am exhausted. I am exhausted, but uh, very happy. I believe I've disappointed people today by wearing black on my top. But I'm wearing ridiculous, luminous, fake leather trousers on my bottom. They're very hot. Very hot. Now, we are going to do the end in as energetic and as brief way as we can. You guys, we have had an extraordinary, extraordinary three days. And I think everybody who has been here for years will have said there was something different about this year. Maybe it was bigger. Maybe it was because we were so excited to physically all be back here. And maybe it was because of all the newcomers. So can we just give a big shout out to the newbies of the Zero, our Zero family, as you extend. There was an energy that was both intense and magical and wonderful. And you know what? We are exhausted, but we probably could do with more days of seeing each other. But make sure that you keep that energy and those connections alive after you leave here. Now, I'm going to go through, we have little chapters to get through. We have a lot of exciting announcements that, of course, mirror the great, fierce ambition of Martin Hessel and his extending web of connection right around the world. But we're going to begin with the, oh, I love doing this bit. So I am an ambassador, as, as is Michael Ramon. I think we were the first two ambassadors of the Zero Project. So, Martin. Where are you? Martin, come up here to me because we are going to be adding to the ambassador family three new ambassadors. So, uh, okay, should we do a drum roll, please? Our first ambassador who was with us this morning, it is Connie. Come up and take your role. Woo, woo, woo. Hello, hello. Stand there for me for a second. Now, Franz Joseph, drum roll please. Where's Franz Joseph? Woo -hoo! Oh yeah, we got you. So proud to have you, come on in. And lastly, this was an ambassador um, that, was, that we gave the award to last year, but she was not able to join us last year. But this year, Deb Roo. Get up here, Deb Roo. Woo -hoo! And if Deb... this year, but she will come later. <laughs> okay, I am Deb Roo. Deb, I am you right now. And I'm going to say thank you so much, Martin Essel. So would you like to talk about the ambassadors? <laughs> thank you so much, uh, dear uh, friends of the growing uh, Zero Project family. Now we have uh, two uh, new Zero Project ambassadors. These are the real rock stars of the... Uh, um, uh, of the community, disability community, who uh, uh, sustainable have supported uh, our network so far. And this is Connie, uh, if I might say, we are good old young friends. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Connie is supporting us in dancing and in uh, just relaxing in very uh, complicating times during the or, uh, organizing this uh, conference. Uh, you have uh, always a smile and then we are relaxed and hopefully you can not uh, see that we are a little nervous. And uh, this is uh, all about uh, you, but you are also supporting dancing with persons with disabilities and without 
uh, and on a uh, worldwide and global scale, and uh, this is amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Now, there is, uh, you will receive a certificate, uh, and you will be our ambassador, next ambassador of the Zero Project Conference between today till uh, uh, 27, and thank you so much that you accepted uh, our offer. Thank you. I'm very honored. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, next um, uh, Zero Project Ambassador is a good uh, young old friend of mine. Uh, this is um, Franz Josef Huynik. He is the Austrian uh, uh, superstar in the disability community, a former um, a parliamentarian uh, in Austria who uh, designed a lot of uh, amazing um, rules and uh, uh, to, to, for inclusion. And now he is. Um, uh, on duty for the Austrian television uh, company, the main television company, and is in charge of uh, inclusion. And thank you so much for your big support, especially for our activities uh, in Austria. And therefore, it is a real honor to hand you over a certificate as an ambassador of the Zero Project, and thank you for accepting this. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> On the other hand, we want to say thank you for those uh, ambassadors uh, who left the uh, office uh, as they were uh, retired. Uh, this is uh, Luc. Are we retired? No, 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 not you. Oh, okay, not okay. You. I'm fine. Uh, this is Luc Seldalo, uh, the former Secretary General of ESPD, of the European Association of Service Providers for Persons with Disabilities. And I would like to uh, say thank you so much from deep in my heart. He has done a marvelous uh, job and really always supporting us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. I met him just on the way to the airport. And then uh, we want also to say thank you to Rupert Roninger, the uh, former CEO of Light for the World. It was really amazing how you supported us, but I hope that you will support us uh, also in the future. But thank you so much for being with us as a Zero Project um, uh, ambassador for the last four years. Thank you so much. And those um, uh, terms in office will continue for another four years, uh, which we are grateful for. Uh, Susan Scott Barker, Klaus Höckner, Michael Rimon, and one, the one and only Caroline Casey. <laughs> Woo! Not fire just yet, that's great news. <laughs> That's because you want me back. Now, well done, you've done that very well. So the next thing of our chapter of all the things that we're going to do, so youth delegates, where are you? This, and what I was saying is the new energy that has been in this conference is because of all the new friends that have come here. So can I ask those of you youth delegates who are still in the room, can we just, can we give a shout out? They started with us in center stage and I want for them to be acknowledged. As we finish off. It's great to see you. Now, I'm going to ask you one or two questions, because you know me, I will always do that. <laughs> you uh, tell us a little bit, how, how was the conference for you? What was your experience like? And tell us your name, for starters. Yeah, of course. First of all, thank you very much for being here. And thank you very much for the applause. And it was really great. My name is Philip, and it was an honor to be here. The organizing team, I mean, can we please get an applause for the organizing team? It's been really amazing. Woo! I mean, the people who I've met here were so open. They talked about everything. They, they were not ashamed of who they were, what they are. I mean, they stood for everything they, they believed in. They represented their ideas. They represented everything. I, 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 I'm going to talk in circles here because it, it still amazes me. I really have to thank you for that. 
I, I don't have any words left, but the, the international experience as I was able to gather during this event is just amazing. I, we were the only Austrian guys, Martin and me, in our entire delegation, and it was amazing to see people from all over the world. I mean, we have people from, from the United States, from Israel, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I love that. You're speechless, are you really? I'm re yeah, I am. It, it was really amazing. I had no idea what was going to happen during the event because I myself, I'm not a person with a disability, so I was, I know, I didn't have really any idea of what's going to happen during the event, but I'm speechless afterwards. Okay, That's well, what thank you. Um, pass on very quickly, if anybody wants to say, but you've got to be quick. Pass it on, anything you'd like to say, words of wisdom, you know. Hi, I'm Martin, also representing Austria, and I would uh, like to truly thank everyone for showing me everything I have gotten to see at the Zero Project this year. And I hope that next year I'll get to see even more. It's okay. been really educating and I've also gotten to see how every single person with a disability gets to achieve their, their dreams and how we're all as a community striving towards that goal. I, w I would like to thank everybody for that. Thank you. <laughs> Khalil? Um, I just wanted to say thank you again. This is my first time in a place with such inclusivity and feeling just so warm and enveloped um, and accepted. So really, really thank you. And thank you for taking us so seriously and speaking to us throughout this whole conference. Thank you, Galil. You can choose if you'd like to speak and if you don't, that's okay. Sorry, I don't need the microphone, clearly. Uh, this is the first time I've been here. I really appreciate the opportunity. I've learned quite a bit. And I've enjoyed it. Thank you. I have really appreciated every opportunity given to me here. I also see room for improvement. I'm happy to be part of the future to make sure that those improvements happen, to be part of it. Thank you. Uh, I also want to thank the organizational team and everyone who supported us. It's also my first time hearing even about this conference and I didn't know what to expect, but I'm so grateful to be here, so grateful that we as the youth delegation got the space to have our voices heard and to talk to many, many amazing people and I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you. Thank you. And before I hand on to Michael, because he's got something quick he'd like to say, you keep saying how you are grateful to us. We are grateful to you. And I mean that. You are here because we want you here and to stay here and to teach us as we all continue to journey. So thank you, each and every one of you. Genuinely, thank you. Michael, you have a quick something? Yeah. Th th there's one person who acted behind the scenes endlessly and uh, who also helped us make this youth delegation happen. So that's Esther taking pool sitting here in, in first row, Esther. So please stand up. Thanks for supporting us in that. Please stand up for this amazing woman. Oh, Lucy is giving you a bark as well, okay? That's quite good, because Lucy, is, she's given her words. Thank you guys so much, all of you. Really appreciate it. Okay, so we now have our next announcement. I'm going to call lovely Michael Fenbeck over here to me because we are talking about uh, the Global Disability Summit. So I'm going to hand to you now to um, take over. Yeah. I mean, it's rare, but so you can try. Go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the next uh, stage in the closing ceremony is, um, is uh, letting uh, His Royal Highness uh, Prince Mirat from Jordan uh, explain in a, in, a, in a final keynote here uh, his ambition and especially the ambition of the Global Disability Summit 2025. And if he's in the room, we might also have someone from the organizing team here. I see him to the right, uh, Jose Vieira. So Jose, at the end of this video, please also join me here on stage and I will ask you one or two questions about this major event that's already looming on the horizon. So uh, please let us watch now the, the video. Dear uh, Zero Project colleagues, uh, friends and family, are we on track or have we fallen behind? I know that the rights of persons with disabilities have been afforded greater attention and respect the world over since the adoption of the CRPD, and that there has been a huge surge forward on this issue, especially in the developed world. In the West, in general, of course, uh, everything is relative, 
The majority of children with disabilities go to school. A good percentage of persons with disabilities work and live independently. All public areas, buildings, malls, playgrounds, etc. are, by and large, accessible, including transportation networks. Persons with disabilities are part and parcel of society and actively make their opinions known through the ballot box. The list of achievements is long, and I think you, you get my drift. As for the developing world, it is a different story altogether. And since we all live on this little blue planet of ours, and our futures are increasingly intertwined, I ask again the question, are we on track or have we fallen behind? My worry is that the gulf between the developed world and the rest of the world on numerous issues, but especially disability, is getting larger and more formidable by the minute. And that not enough attention, uh, resources and action is being allotted by the global community to bridge the gulf. As I see it, the onus is on governments in both the developing and developed world, basically on everyone. Despite all the vexing challenges, developing countries in particular must prioritize disability rights correctly as a national priority of the utmost importance and afford it the resources and serious attention that it deserves. This, I believe, can be done. It is just about elevating disability on the national priority ladder to where it should always be. It is at best a question of national ownership, and the elements of ownership are well known. High-level interest and leadership in fulfilling obligations and addressing challenges must be clear and evident to all. National legislation must be in full compliance with the CRPD. A clear understanding of the scope, size, and depth of the challenges must be at hand and or a very firm commitment to promptly acquire such an understanding be present. And a realistic, ambitious plan or strategy to system systematically address all the challenges within an agreed upon time frame that is emboldened by a significant national financial commitment by the state itself has to be in the cards. Consequently, and logically speaking, if states in the developing world are able to garner these elements of ownership, or at least most of them, the likelihood that donor countries and entities will pitch in and support will be that much higher, contributing hopefully to greater success. It makes sense, no? As for the developed world and international donor agencies and entities, I believe that in general, they are missing a huge opportunity to have an even more significant and substantial impact in bridging the Gulf. The reason I'm saying this is because in, in my experience, uh, donor countries and uh, development uh, agencies rarely insist on placing conditions or stipulating that their funding must be disability inclusive or disability sensitive or that there must be a disability component as part of their large-scale grants in the same way that all programs and support must always be gender sensitive. And the few donors that do in fact comply and mention disability do not always put in place mechanisms that guarantee proper and sustainable implementation. The result being that government uh, bureaucrats in developing countries are left unaware and ill-informed of the high priority that developing countries afford the rights of persons with disabilities. If there is continuous insistence that all funding and grants are to be made disability sensitive, it would make a huge difference. Slowly and gradually, the message will come across that addressing disability is key and that development cannot and will not be complete without it if donors 
are emphasizing the issue and talking about it all the time, then decision makers in developing countries will uh, attribute more attention to the matter. Am I still making sense? There are some, these are some of the themes and issues that I believe ought to be discussed at the next Global Disability Summit in Berlin in 2025 that Germany, Jordan, and the IDA will be presiding over. In my view, the summit in 2025 must be a watershed moment and considered a golden opportunity that cannot and must not be dashed. It will be the first time ever that heads of state will congregate to deliberate the status of, uh, of disability worldwide. Think about it. What an unbelievable opportunity to affect change. As a result, the leaders must be made aware of the enormity of the challenge and why it is vitally important that disability rights are truly respected. If not already, they have to be sensitized to the issues at hand and must leave Berlin convinced that much work needs to be done. Anything less will be a great shame. We must always take stock of where we are, think sensibly and ask ourselves, are we on track? or have we fallen behind? I thank you all. So, um, a great thanks to His Royal Highness Prince uh, Mirid of Jordan for these uh, wonderful words and of announcing also the Global Disability Summit. I'm having here Jose Vera, who represents the IDA, which was mentioned in the video. Uh, the IDA is one of the co-organizers of the Global Disability Summit. So, Jose, what can we expect? What, what are you up to? Um, thank you, Michael, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, once again, and, and, and before I go into the details about the Global Disability Summit, I really want to thank uh, Michael, Robin, uh, Caroline, all the uh, Zero Conference family. It has been a wonderful three days for me. And um, I usually want to start packing to go to a conference or I always think what I will expect of the conference. So I came to Vienna with many expectations, but definitely I'm going away with even more than what I expected. And for me, the best lesson learned today, the thing that I have learned the most, is how we can transform ideas into practical solutions for change. Something that you can feel, that you could, you could, I could feel all day long, today and yesterday and the day before, was how people here change, transform, look for more, uh, don't stop and continue thinking. And I guess um, if that is a zero conference spirit, we really tried to do something similar for the Global Disability Summit. The first time that we had the Global Disability Summit back in 2018, this idea was brought with the intention of asking ourselves what else can we do to transform the life of people with disabilities around the world, especially those living in the Global South. Now that we have had two summits, we are stronger. We know that we need more, that we need um, to understand better the needs of persons with disabilities, that we need to inspire partners, uh, including governments, UN agencies, private sector, um, et cetera, et cetera, to do more with us. But even more importantly is that this journey can only be enjoyed if we do it together. So I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the government of Jordan and the government of Germany for accepting this uh, nice challenge of understanding the role of organization of persons with disabilities and consider organization of persons with disabilities equal partners for such an amazing uh, adventure that the Global Disability Summit 2025 would be. Um, I don't want to take more time. I know it has been exhausting days. I know that you, you have enjoyed it very much. So this is basically to invite all, not only for the summit in 2025, but start thinking from today on how you can contribute and what, you, what would you like to see in the Global Disability Summit in 2025. We are open to learn, we are open to hear. And thank you again for the CERA conference for giving us this opportunity to present. We very much looking forward to seeing you all in GDS 2025. The youth, um, it's also important. In 2022, we had a 24 hours youth summit. We hope to repeat that. And uh, we are open to hear and to learn and to commit to delivering more for actually transforming real change for persons with disabilities. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so much, Jose. We will all be there in Jordan with you, for sure. Um, 
First of all, we, but quickly before I go to the next thing, I, we have found the elusive Debru. Uh, Debru Ambassador, will you please come up here with Martin Essel to finally, now that we have you in the room, present you and thank you as an ambassador for the Zero Project. Come on, get up here. Here she is, Laru. Now we have your, um, we have your uh, plaque coming, so here you go. Thank you, Martin. Yeah. Wants to give me the, the mic, we will share it, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Deborah last year was not able, unfortunately, to come and yes. uh, be with us. But uh, we uh, announced uh, to be uh, our ambassador of the Zero Project. Such an honor. And uh, it's a real honor to have her on board because she is a really the influencer in our industry, I would say. Um, and uh, has built up the uh, Billion Strong, an initiative I always admire uh, the same way like the Valuable 500. Uh, you are really changing uh, the world with your ideas, with your um, activities in media. It's marvelous what you are doing and it's very important. Thank you so much and I wish you all the best and please um, uh, support us also uh, for the next years. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Woohoo, Deb! Thank you. Last year, many of you might have known, <clears throat> I'm not going to say, but my beautiful husband passed away. So, um, it, coming up on March 3rd. Anyway, I'm not going to say that, but when I first heard about Zero Project, I was so excited about what they were doing and I wanted to be part of it. And I'm so honored that they let me be part of it. But we are all in this together, so this conference is amazing, but we really, really have to work together. We have to work together and support each other. I am so excited about India. I'm so excited about Zero Project in India, so please keep supporting Zero Project, the valuable 500, billion-strong.org, because it's for all of us. And because we really can make a difference, but only together. And we talk about great conferences, this is the conference to attend the Zero Project and what you've done, Martin and Michael, oh, the amazing team. We're in this together and it gives me such great hope. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Deb, you've, you've given me a beautiful segue. I love when somebody gives us a segue. Now, where is the beautiful Corolla? Oh, hello. Where's the beautiful Corolla? Hello. Thank you for that. Corolla. Hello. <laughs> I'm here. There she is. So Deb was talking about the importance of As A Zero Project Extends, and I was saying, Carola, it's like, it is amazing to see, you came here a few years ago and you had this idea, and you're equally as ambitious as Martin Essel, and no. I'm really <laughs> scared what's gonna happen. We were gonna have to leave this room, Martin, eventually, or we'll be doing a twin from Chile to here, like we'll be doing it all at the same time. Come over here now, and what? just tell us briefly about the plans for Ibero America and everything that you're doing. Well, and by the way, thank you for all the dancing and the music ah, and everything. It, that was our pleasure. Well, thank, I want to start thanking everyone here, Martin um, and Greta. I mean, this is amazing what you have done, Michael Fenbeck, Zero Project team, Fundación Descubreme team, and especially I know that the effort that uh, people from La Latin America and the Spanish community has done to be here because uh, it is expensive and it's a long way. So thank you, thank you very much. Yeah for being here and supporting Zero Project. Um, I have been thinking uh, what, um, but I have a great news. Sorry. You've got more news. I, I have a wonderful news to give you all. Okay. So you are all invited. Zero Project for the Spanish, Zero Project Conference for the Spanish community, May, early May 2024. You are all invited. May 2024. Yes. Okay, so get this in our diaries. When are we going to know the date? Uh, next week, a couple of weeks. Next week, we're going to know the date that we put in our diary for 2024. Okay. So everyone is invited. We will talk about inclusive education. There is a wonderful uh, initiative that we know that are all over the world, but there is a lot that we need to discuss. And I want to uh, finish just asking you something. Uh, we have had wonderful three days, but here we can talk about disability on what it's needed. But outside there is a huge world 
that there doesn't know about this. So I'm asking you just one little thing. Go and talk with someone that probably is not related with disability and sit down and talk with her or with him or S. So please do it because I do believe that here we can change the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carola. And that's so true. We said a long time ago that we wanted to make to aim for the fact that we couldn't get a thousand people in the room and we got there. So Carola, you're right. It's how do we spread out our Spider-Man tentacles to make sure that everybody knows and understands about the possibility um, that we have to change together. Now we have another piece of good news. It keeps going. It keeps growing. Michael, um, am I asking you to make the announcement or is it Martin is I, going to make it? Because this is a big bit of news, right? So this is really exciting that Inclusion of people with disabilities doesn't just happen in Austria or in English-speaking countries. We need to remember that, everybody, not just in English-speaking countries. So we have Carola leading the Spanish-speaking world. So what announcement are you going to make today? Drum roll, please. Well, I'm just bringing the people on stage that make the announcement. So I ask now okay. uh, Dan and Moses roll, on stage. And also at the same time, please, uh, Shilpa and Mira, please come forward. OK, drum roll. Come on. Come on. Let's get a drum roll. Okay. So you heard a lot already, I hope, uh, about the Zero Project India plans, and these are the two major organizations and corporations of organizations that uh, will keep us going in India and both have announcements to make of what we are jointly up to. So I would like you, uh, Miran Shilpa, to, to, to start and tell us about what you're up to together with the Zero Project. I've been here twice before to receive the Zero Innovation Award. And I never dreamt that one day we would become partners with the amazing Zero project, which is nurtured by Martin and the SL Foundation and led by the CEO, Michael. And in India, when we begin partnerships and a new journey together, we always begin with gifts from our country. So Martin, would you come up? Come on. Our part of the country. So I'm going to take one minute in putting this around your neck. Ah, oh, thank you so much. So oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. And Michael? Be careful with my microphone. <laughs> mm. You see, it's also green, but you see the other yes. colors. Yes. So it's, it's a different kind of green. Thank you. Now, Michael, we are he is, she is. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you so much. And I have to tell you that this journey is really amazing. Uh, we um, signed uh, a uh, MOU uh, to uh, make this happen. And uh, this year, in August or in September, we will see we will have a conference, a Zero Project conference in Delhi, and we are so proud and thankful to have the opportunity to work together with you and many, many partners uh, to support persons with disabilities in uh, India and outside India for a better world and uh, to abolish all barriers. Thank you so much for your uh, support. Thank you, Martin. So, Mira, what are you up to? So, tell us a little more about your plans, what you're what, what's going to expect, yes. and then we'll ask you, Shilpa. I think both Youth for Jobs and the Indian delegates who were here, some of them have already gone home, feel that the time is now for Zero India to happen. And you may ask why. One is that India is chairing the G20. So we have our technical, technological innovations being showcased to other countries and going to other countries from India. And disability, we have a very progressive legislation passed by the government, which is on the line of the UNCRPD. We have the accessibility campaign, which was launched by the prime minister. So if work is not happening on the ground, then again, it's an opportunity for innovations to happen. 
And the sheer scale of our population, as all of you know, 80% of the world's disability population is in developing countries like India. 69% of them are in the rural areas. So again, one big opportunity for innovations. If you all have a good idea, if we have good ideas to discuss, and this is exactly what the Zero Project does. It brings together national and global players together on one platform to discuss and see how all of us together can leave behind an inclusive India and an inclusive world. So let me repeat Martin and Michael's invitation to all of you to come this year to Delhi and to the first Zero India conference. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Michael. And thank you, Shilpa, who's our thought leader partner, for being here in your busy schedule. Shilpa, over to you. No, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mira. Thank you, Martin and Michael, for actually you know, thinking of bringing this to India. Uh, I, I agree with you, Mira, that you know, two big reasons are really the fact that uh, India is the third largest startup ecosystem. There is a lot of innovation that happens in the country, and it's time that the innovation extended into the field of uh, working with pe uh, people with disabilities. Uh, the second reason, like you mentioned, is we are a large country, uh, 1.4 billion people, and also that means we have a very large number of people with disabilities. So I, I think both these are really good reasons um, to have zero project in India. Um, uh, I, I, I think the five things that you know, I'm really excited about seeing over there uh, is really for the conversation to become uh, at a national level. I think the conference will do that. I think it will bring much more knowledge. It will bring understanding, bring innovation. But most of all, I think the way you've thought about it as a 10-year kind of journey building on every year, so a kind of multi-year journey for the conference uh, and bringing collaboration between India, the subcontinent, and other parts of the world, I, I, I think all of that is something really exciting to look forward to. So thank you again, and look forward to it. Thank you. So this is one part of the Zero Project India plans. Yeah. So this is the Zero Project Conference. Our partners are Youth for Jobs, Mira Shinoi, and uh, the uh, Omidyar Network India, um, Shilpa Kumar. And this is now introducing our other strategic partners here in, uh, in India. It's the organization Enable India. Uh, and I'm handing over you to know Dan and Moses to explain what we are up to together in, in India. Thank you. Good afternoon. Namaste. And Namaste. This is how we greet from the part of India where I come from. Namaste to everyone. And in just one word before I went on, I mean, go on to describe uh, the initiative, wow. I keep pinching myself to just test I'm really in the Jira project <laughs> because I have been actually feeling jealous because during the COVID, I couldn't come. I mean, that's when I, we won the award and I really missed that opportunity. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank and show our love and gratitude from Enable India in general, I mean, in particular, and in, from India in, in general to the organizing team for doing this amazing job of creating this platform. Join me in generously clapping for this wonderful organization, all the people here for creating such platform, please. Thank you. And I also take this opportunity to offer, in collaboration with Zero Project and Enable India and many, many more partners who are going to join and already joined, the dish from India. The dish where every one of you will have a place. Mm. The dish where every flavor can get merged and all of us can work together. And the dish stands for Disability Innovative Solutions Hub. Mm. Where persons with disabilities and communities can seek solutions that are already exist elsewhere or makers who have solutions or innovators can find a real problem statement that can be solved, or people who can want to replicate a solution that exists in a context to another context, and most important, equally important, investors who want to fund 
in the right solutions. This is going to be the platform with all of us together. It's not just because one or two partners, all of us together in this room and outside of this room, we are going to make that all of us together. And I'm very excited to offer this on behalf of Zero Project, Enable India, and all the partners. I know DISC is in this room and many more partners who will be joining. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing that we are here. The journey to Zero Project has been a wonderful journey for India. And I can say that since our globalization time, now the time has come that the disability sector is globalized and changing intelligence with each other beyond the barriers of our geographical borders. And that's what we are going to do in formation and in collaboration with Zero Project in DISH. And the solutions that are going to come, that are going to be focused, are going to be user-centric, people-centric, and not only for the 15%, as I was telling yesterday, it would be for the disability and ecosystem. And that would be the ultimate reach and touch points to be created. Thank you, and it's a privilege from my behalf that I would like to invite you to become partners to this wonderful innovation hub and in whatever way you would like to collaborate, just reach out to Zero Project or to Enable India. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big round of applause. We're all going to be in India in October for the dish. For the dish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, listen, we're just coming closing to the end. Um, but there is somebody that Martin has been really trying to get here center stage, and it's the perfect kind of way to have the creative end. I was saying, Martin, earlier on when you were at the technology um, event in uh, Unicred Bank Austria, that you blend all these passions, your passion for art, your passion for business, your passion for collaboration for this sector, and that's what makes this so rich. And I think you have a real deep heart for the creative. So I know that you wanted to bring Yana onto the stage to mm. talk about the mm. inclusive street art. So I think, is that Yana there? Yeah, it is. thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, dear friends, uh, during the conference, all of those uh, friends who were with us uh, in Vienna uh, have seen the development of this amazing artwork called Inclusion. And this was created by my uh, dear friend um, Jana Danilovic, a Serbian graffiti artist. And uh, she uh, created an artwork, an inclusive artwork. And uh, today I will like to say deeply from my heart, thank you so much for your creativity and you shared this creativity in the global conference of the Zero Project here in the United Nations uh, premises. Uh, and uh, you brought something uh, with you and that is the, a tactile uh, pattern and plate. And I would uh, uh, like to give you the chance to uh, raise some words to us and also to declare how you did uh, this um, artwork. Uh, uh, you donated to us so that we can use it also in the future for presentations, uh, national and international, um, uh, that you declare something about your beautiful artwork. Please, Jana. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to actually tell the story, to show 
our project and the piece of art that came to be here uh, during this conference is all about the inclusion uh, uh, in both the uh, motif as well as the means it was created by. So the painted mobile mural is also represented as tactile plate in order to enable everyone to actually experience the piece of art that is a piece of visual art actually. Uh, it was a great pleasure really and a great honor to do it in front of all of you. It was a great opportunity to interact with you, to actually uh, feel and hear the, what you have to say and what you feel about what we are doing. And uh, given the fact that we are all from the field of street art and muralism, we are all researchers, we are in a way also creators, academics, uh, but uh, that is what what we do is all about actually creating art that is for everyone and that is democratic. And thank you so much for giving us approach to such a wonderful and wide audience. Thank you so much, Jana. And, and for all of, uh, of us who uh, do not see your artwork, Please describe this artwork uh, and the sujet within two or three sentences. Okay, I'm gonna try to be really short. The artwork represents uh, two female figures hugging each other, wearing very similar clothes, having very similar hair, uh, one of which is seated in a wheelchair. So I insisted on how similar they are, even though one of them needed slight assistance in functioning equally. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi. Oh, hello. You can't stop me talking. Thank you so much, Jana. Now, as I say, we're coming into this last piece. Um, we've seen an awful lot over these last few days, and Michael Ramon is an ambassador the same old age as myself and Susan Scott Parker. You'll never get rid of us. Um, but we want to ask Michael to come just join us here on the stage. Uh, Michael, where are you? Oh, she's, thank you. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. She's coming. Did you bring the unicorn with you? Um, yes, I have the unicorn. Before that, I'm joking. Caroline, um, we are bummed that you're with a black jacket. So first of all, if you can change it to a purple one. Thank you very much. One, two, three. And as an old ambassador, <laughs> I'll join you. Shall I help you? Yes, please. Perfect. So first of all, I have a picture with Caroline, so that's great. Do you not think this is a really good uh, Yeah, it's good not look. a good match, but never mind. Perfect. The truth is, when you take the green, the pink, the yellow, and now purple, it's a perfect match. So a colorful Caroline is what we like. Um, to everybody sitting here, on your way out, um, you can grab a purple vest. In the purple vest, there is a QR, a badge. Uh, people approached me, how do we get, how do we uh, get training? You can take, you can take one, you can take two, you can take 10. Hand it out, let's spread the word. It started here, let's make sure that it's out there around the world. Now, so thank you very much for that. And Caroline, challenge me. One second. Oh my God, I can't believe you're going to do the unicorn. Well, you no, said, and I do. Oh my gosh, can I just tell you, this is why we, we believe that things can happen. And the unicorn was a symbol that was bought in a really um, late night petrol station la la on Thursday of last year. Yes. Uh, as a symbol of so this is the impossible. <laughs> After what I uh, uh, received yesterday, it's not the Zero Project standard, but heck, it was on my shelf all year long. Okay, so this is the zero. Oh, hold on, we need your audio description. So an audio description is, um, it's- Is there it's, an audio description for this? Yeah, there okay. is. It's, it's like a squashy, uh, cuddly unicorn with big eyes, um, and it, it's like sequined bright candy pink. Bright um, is an understatement, by the with, way. With uh, rainbow wings, a tail, and rainbow mane. So it's kind of Pegasus unicorn, yeah? Okay. So the bad news, I'm not giving this one up, okay? I'm keeping this, but. 
<laughs> I got another but one. But mine is bigger than yours. Oh, thank you. My little pony in a unicorn. Wow. What do I have to do with this? Okay. So, the challenge that I received uh, last year was to find... Thank you. Doesn't look good. Thank you. Thank you. Now I look good? Okay. okay. So, the challenge I received last year, last year was, and let me just open it because Shelley just wrote it to me in a more clear way. The challenge was, let's find venture capital, start encouraging venture capitals to look into accessibility, inclusion, disability, when they are looking into investments. Yep, as a material and significance, yep. With this purple vest, I was kind of busy this year. Okay, okay? Enough, so I thought, I'm not going to be able to make it, but thank God I have a great team. Okay. And we have two. You got two? We got two VCs, Israeli VCs. One of them is B2 by Yoel Cheshin, and the other one is Good Company by Shachar Botzer. Shachar Botzer, by the, one, by the way, is one of the icons in Israel that started the revolution of accessibility and inclusion. And both organizations, with the support that Access Israel is going to give them all year okay. round, um, has taken upon themselves to consider as part of their basic things, For inclusion, yeah, yeah. inclusion, diversity, and uh, disability, accessibility. Um, and uh, we are going to give you more updates later on. And the thing is, it's just the beginning. I can't and I think you did that. that. Yeah. And I think that this one okay. now is handed over to you, and let's continue this pattern. And I hope that next year we can bring here VCs, VCs that okay. will come and stay. So the unicorn challenge, you know what? We'll say differently. This one will go to the one who will bring the most VCs next year. Go okay, the it. challenge is on, okay? So let's see who will win If it. we can bring disability materiality as a reason to why VCs and investors invest in companies, then, then we've broken that system change. Perfect. So the challenge is on, who can find us the best VC or investor, and you can have My Little Pony Unicorn. And who wouldn't want My Little Pony Unicorn? Not mine. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Michael. You. Okay. <laughs> It is very, very hot, it's menopause. Okay, so guys, here we go, it is the end. I'd like a bit of little crunch music, please, because I am calling up the fantastic, the one and only, the extraordinarily kind and fierce and resilient and incredible Zero Conference 2023 team. Please give us about as loud a noise as you can for this extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary the two, um, our two heads of state here to tell us about their team quickly. I also want to acknowledge all of our interpreters, both online and physically here in the room. Massive a round of applause for them. Can we bring a huge shout out to all of our tech communications guys down the back? Legends. Yeah, absolute legends. Can we also give a huge round of applause for everybody in the UN who looked after us, the food, the security guards who are very smiley. Can we give a huge big round of applause to them, please? No, we know this, that the people standing up have so many people behind them, and this is because of the multiples of people and all of those actions. So this is yours, Michael and Martin, to say thank you to your extraordinary team, Thank you from all of us. Yes, uh, thank you. At, at the very end, uh, and the curtain is now falling down from the Zero Project Conference. I'm, I'm not tuned yet. Uh, from deep in my heart. 
I am so happy that you all were here uh, at the Zero Project conference, joining us with your amazing innovative approaches and your willing to support those innovators. We have had 1,241 registered attendees in the United Nations here in Vienna. We have had... <laughs> we have had another 500 attendees in the Austrian Parliament. And there is a new figure, and therefore, thank you so much for all of you who uh, looked at us uh, online. We have had around 13,000 attendees uh, online, additionally to, to you all. And this shows us that our work is accepted. And this is most important, because we are here to support you. But with, it, it can be done just with the team. And I would like also um, Caroline to be with me, uh, because you are also part of the team. Uh, and all of you, uh, this is uh, our new professor, uh, Michael. It's uh, Anna, it's Maria Cara, it's uh, Sumita, it's Kater Katerina, it's uh, my daughter, Isabella, uh, it's uh, Ra Raz, it's um, 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 Tom, it's uh, uh, Karin, uh, it's uh, Claudia, uh, but, uh, and, and then the team of uh, Latin America from this Cooper with Carola, but also uh, for me, very important is my dear wife. Woo! Please, uh, uh, she's co founder and she's sharing my time with you. And thank you so much that you accepted this, that uh, we can do everything. Thank you. Yes, and uh, we are looking forward to seeing you uh, at latest uh, at the next Zero Project conference in February next year. 21st to 23rd. It will be between the 20th uh, February in the Houses of Parliament uh, and the 21st to the 23rd February 2024. We have a time slot here in the premises of the United Nations. Isn't that great? <laughs> and I would like to invite you all online and uh, with us to be with us, uh, to be with us again next year. Our topic will be inclusive education. It will be ICT solutions. And because of these amazing uh, feedback we have got, inclusive arts. And I wish you all the very best and thank you so much to our superstar, uh, uh, Caroline, who did an amazing job. So thank you so much uh, that you all made this uh, happen. And I wish you all the best, uh, a lot of power, and please try to take the inspiration you received here for the last uh, three days uh, to uh, enlarge your activities. And I am happy to be in Santiago de Chile uh, next year. Uh, and this year uh, in uh, uh, August uh, or in September uh, in Delhi, we are growing from the regional point of view to a really global initiative and also thematic-wise, uh, trying to cover really the whole life of persons with disabilities. Thank you so much and God's blessings. Okay, Le Crunch, we can all dance our way to the weekend. Thank you, everybody, all our love. Keep in touch and we'll see you next year. Le Crunch it.
I just have the mic? Yeah. I am so sorry. If you the see me. There's a farewell party. I'm so sorry. I forgot. <laughs> there, everybody's welcome at the farewell party. What, what details? Yeah, so everyone who's still here in the evening, please join us at our farewell party. It's in the Bank Austria Kaiserwasser venue. So we, we as the team, we will leave here in, in groups for those who don't know where it is. So search out at the reception area starting from 5 to 5.30. So we will guide you who will want to come with us and we go over together in groups uh, to the Bank Austria Kaiserwasser. So join us, it's fun, it's music, it's party. Thank you. <laughs> Ja, ja, det var nog säkert från den andra sätta oss.